Today's a beautiful day. You know why? Because I have an important package coming. It's here. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think it is? It's a toy? Is it a toy? Yeah. I think that's something we could call it. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Woo, it's a toy toy. It's, it is a toy, you're right. So this little machine is the Bagode M104. Back in the United what? States, I had the M103 that I rode for, what, almost a year? And then when me and my wife and family moved out to China, we left the wheel there in America. So I only thought it would uh, be worth the upgrade from the M103 to M104 because I just don't have my wheel here. So I'm so happy to finally have a wheel here in China. <sighs> so right out of the box, man, this thing is clean. And it's a little bit heavier than I expected. It feels heavier than my M103, but I think it's got just a little bit more power than it did. Let's go ahead and put these pads on. So there is an adhesive on the other side of this tape, but you gotta be careful because it peels off with this tape. I want to look at the needle. All right, so I'll put together. I'm going to try and take it out of shipping mode. So to get it out of shipping mode, I just had to press and hold the button for five seconds, and then it came out. But dude, look at that light. Ooh, no lift sensor. What a big old light. And it is adjustable. Mm -hmm. Not the spikiest pedals, but really just for an M104, going you know, 20 miles an hour and under, it's fine. Ooh. That's a little hard to Yo, this knobby tire is so bumpy. Holy cow. So thank really for taking it off road with this knobby tire, it's gonna feel so amazing. But when you're just riding on a flat surface, you really feel that knobby tire a lot. Like you're going over a bunch of beads or something or gravel. The display is really not bad. Granted, I'm not under like direct sunlight, but also I don't think I'll need to look down at it too much. Just listen for its little beeps. All right, now for the exciting part. Time to take it out. All right, so I am currently out on the M10. I added a reflective tape for the back. Even though this LED is really bright, it doesn't need a reflector. Just some, uh, just a little personality. And these cheap, uh, these are like baby bumpers you can put on like coffee tables and corners and stuff um, because this pad is not very soft. But even with a very soft pad, my shins, like right here, are bruised. <laughs> It's just something that you have to get used to. I remember uh, when I was first riding the M10 III, my shins were always sore and then it just goes away after riding for a while. So today is a nice and hot day. Man, it's probably, what, 90 degrees Fahrenheit here? I don't know what that is in Celsius. 40 degrees Celsius. Riding out among some nature on a beautiful trail next to the Yong River here in Nanning, China. For today being the first day with the wheel, very happy with it. I'm taking it a little bit easy, just getting the feel for it again. The, honestly, the biggest difference between the M10 III and this guy is the, the, the pedal height. I'm so much higher off the ground than I was on the M10 III, but that's great because On the M10 III, it was just so normal to pedal scrape. You kind of expect it. With this, there's none. I'm much higher off the ground. I'm sure they did that because they want this to be a little off-road beast too, which it can do. This isn't the craziest off-road section I could find, but it looks cool. Look at this. wheel's an absolute monster. It's doing everything I want it to do. I did get up to 20 miles an hour on it, then the wheel beeped at me. I'm not sure why, it'll go a little bit faster than that. I think maybe 25, and this was at 100%, 98% battery. But that's not a problem. On a wheel this small, it's nice to know that I can get up to those speeds, but by no means am I gonna be going that speed constantly. The comfortable cruising speed, for me at least, is probably 15, 16 miles per hour on it. Faster than that, you really gotta lean into it. Not lean, it's a tiny wheel, you're not leaning. You just gotta push your hips forward a little bit, and you'll get going. But 
the wheel's a blast, dude. There's not a more convenient wheel that I can think of that's this much fun. I've ridden other medium-sized wheels, uh, Nicola's, the, the MSN now to me is a medium wheel just because of how crazy powerful wheels have gotten uh, over time. I don't want any more power with this. I'm satisfied. It's a very good wheel. It's heavier than my M10-3, but it's more powerful than the M10-3. It's taller. It's got this fat knobby tire that it is very bumpy when you're riding on flat, but the moment I decide to take it off of the trail and onto, you know, dirt, grass, whatever, a hill, I'm so thankful to have this, this fat knobby tire. And also, that's part of the look. The first time I saw that this was coming out, the tire was the first thing that stood out to me. And obviously, the second thing is the weird shape, the way you can almost see the entire tire and the headlight. It's just such a unique looking wheel. The looks I'm getting while I'm riding this are hilarious. But okay, I'm gonna head on home. It is hot, dude. It is so hot. I'm gonna go home, charge the wheel, and then wait for another sunny day. And then we'll do some incline testing. Uh, probably show you guys my comfortable top speed. I am not trying to push past the beeps or anything, but uh, yeah. So we'll, I'll catch you on another sunny day.